Hello, 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 and welcome back to The Wandering Village. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and Anbu's about to have extremely hot toes. Scorching hot sand should be crossed as quickly as possible. It will actually do damage to our poor Anbu. So we're going to need to ask him to do something that he is not going to be too fond of. Oh no, we don't even have anyone working here. Quick, quick, get a worker. You go work there because it's right next door. That's very quick. Right, come on, go, work next door, quick. Go, close this up because we need you to go there. This is very important. Quick, 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 with haste, I say, with haste. Who's going to go work there? Somebody go work in the horn blower. We need Anbu to run. Anbu is accepting our command and he's going to run. Look, he's got his tongue out. I think he likes to stretch his legs a little bit. So there he is, he's crossing the hot sand, but you can see his health is going down. He's at 99% now, not ideal but he is running. He's gonna get across the sand as quickly as he possibly can, as fast as his six legs will take him. Okay, it doesn't really seem that fast, does it? Oh no, 98% now. Ooh, but our scavenger party is back, so we're gonna be sending them out again to go get more knowledge, because of course, as you saw last episode, knowledge is power. Now, Andrew's gonna have to run for quite a long time, you might be able to take a small break in between, but those two sections of scorching hot sand are extremely close together. And of course, this is making him extra sleepy. Now, if Anbu falls asleep on the scorching hot sand, we are in a very bad way. We are going to have a very bad time. We do need to, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Decontaminator is what we want to research. Oh no, the corn is what we wanted to research. Right, we can still change it. I think corn. That will get us some food. We need to close this. Nobody can be bothered working there because it's not going to be producing anything anyways. And we need to switch this now over to cactus because we are in the very hot, harsh landscape here. And we can open that back up and open that back up. We'll see what we have workers for. Amu is still running. I think, oh, he's basically out of danger, almost there. But yeah, there's going to be very little here. So that one's still red. So he's technically still on it until his little pawn piece is off there. So he's got a tiny bit of space here, but it's not gonna be enough to stop running because he's going to be back on it in just a second. As soon as his piece touches it, there he is. He's back on the burning hot sand and his health is ticking down. He is at 95%, not ideal, super not ideal. And he's getting extremely tired. His sleepiness, of course, and hunger are gonna be made worse by the fact that he is running. He's yawning, not good. Whatever we do, Anbu, do not stop walking. Do not lie down. Do not lie down. I know you're tired. Very tired. There is a sleeping spot. Very close. Oh, okay. Anbu's walking. Okay, he's slowed down. That's not good. It's going to cause him health, but as long as he doesn't lie down. Keep walking, Anbu. It's really, really, really important. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. Anbu, walk. No, Anbu, no. Your body. It's too hot, Anbu. Look, that is scorching hot sand. You're rubbing your face all over. Anbu, no. Anbu, do not sit down. Your belly is going to be burned. Your tail. Oh, your little feetsies are going to be hurting. Not good. 92% health. Oh, but he's stretching those toe beans and it's so cute. No, Anbu. This is not a good place to try to sleep, Anbu. Wake up. Panic, Anbu. Panic. Anbu. No. Okay. All right. Classic Anbu move, honestly. But, um... Not good. Anbu, we're gonna need you to walk. Anbu's not listening, he's far too sleepy. I mean, we can heal him and he will, you know, he will heal a bit himself. At least it's not poisoned, I guess. Oh man, oh we can, oh we've already closed the doctor. Okay, good. We can definitely close the doctor because it's not going to be doing anything anyways. Now these places, there's no water currently and crops aren't going to currently grow. So we might close that off also. Or actually, can you just only harvest? Harvest the stuff that's there quickly. And then we're going to have to just give up on it for now. Because your stuff's not going to grow either. So just harvest. We'll switch to just harvesting for a minute until those are completely harvested. And then we're going to have to get Anbu up. Now they are starting to make the Anbu antitoxin, which is good. They do have one food made, which is also good. Can we try to get Anbu to wake up again? Anbu? Anbu is annoyed by our frequent commands and ignores us. Oh, come on, Anbu. This is the worst. You're... You're just... 
There's a sleeping spot right there, Rambo. <laughs> Why did you choose the burning hot sand? This is the problem with him running, though. And the two burning hot sands in a row were definitely a trap. An unkind trap. Oh, my goodness. At least after we get after our sleeping spot, we're going to be getting some more nomads who are going to be joining us. And that's good because we do need the workers. Right, they're almost done here. And then where are we going to send them next? We could get them to go get some water or into the woods. They might be able to find some mushrooms in there. So that's 22 hours away. That's only a oh. Yeah, this one's only 11 hours, so let's go to the oasis. They might be able to find some fresh water there, and that would be quite good. Now, unfortunately, there was another shrine over here, but we've gone too far, and I can't see it anymore. I can see a quarry, but I can't see the shrine. And, of course, if it's off our map, we can't see it. Now, I think there is, or at least there used to be, a technology to build, like, a tower. So you were able to, like, see further. Although I don't... Oh, yeah, the scout tower right there. So it increases your radius of the world map so you just build one of those and then you can see further which means you can send your scavenging hut parties further and possibly have more time to plan out for you know this kind of chaos where Anbu is having a little sleep Anbu is still not willing to wake up no. he's not he's not loving this <laughs> he's at 87 percent health which i guess is still it's still good i mean it's still green so there is that at the very least, but definitely not ideal. People are hungry. Do we have enough food? Looks like we do. We have 21 food. That's that's enough. I mean, do we have... Oh, we've got three idle workers. One person unemployed. Maybe we'll put one person back here working in the kitchen. Oh, someone here ready to uh, collect the dung as needed. Now, at least when the corn is researched, we should be able to turn this into a corn farm and then start getting a different kind of food source. Now, I think none of these are ready to be harvested, so we may as well close this up. There's nothing left for them to do there. And perhaps set you... Everyone is researching. Come be a harvester and let's set some of these trees and things to be harvested. Because if we do get back to a poison area, we want to make sure that we are covered. We don't want to be in a poisonous area and have too many things too close together. That is very, very bad. Lots of berries over here. I might collect them, actually. We could use the extra food. Get rid of these trees way down here, I think. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And this, that's a quite a big clump of trees. We don't want clumps of trees. Clumps of trees are bad. Clumps of trees are not your friend. All right. That is looking good. Anbu, are you done now? He's at 45% sleepiness, which might mean he'll... Yes, okay. He's going to get up and he's going to continue walking. Which is good, because we don't want his health to go any further. Oh, our scavengers have arrived at the oasis. Black waters. Arriving at the site, the oasis is unlike anything you've ever seen. The water is black and almost opaque. Still, your scavengers dying of thirst can't wait to take a sip. Hmm... Let's take a sip and bottle some water. Better not drink that. Let's take some of it with us to analyze it. Or if there's something wrong, let's scout for the resources. Let's take some and analyze it and we'll see what happens. We don't want them to get sick because people can actually die when they're off scavenging. The substance in the water turned out to be harmless. We get 63 water. So they're going to bring back 63 water, which is very good because we actually are quite low on water. Now, one of our workers is poisoned so we need to open up the doctor again we don't have any employees to work there so we may have to steal from a harvester can you come and be our doctor for us please we don't want to send a scavenger party out with someone who's poisoned that would be quite bad oh what's this one? Oh, the onbu doctor is ready of course it is okay let's get that built up here we're going to need to heal onbu at some point Anbu is walking. Good. I mean, I'm not going to get him to run because he's just... Actually, I wonder if he would listen. Oh, he's going to listen. Okay. We only need him to run up to here. If we can, As soon as we get there, we could get him to stop running and then actually have a proper snooze, which would be very good. So if he gets extra tired now, it's fine because we're going to get him sorted soon. Right. No doctor came over here. Why is that? This can be closed because you're not doing anything anymore. And then hopefully you'll go work here. Yeah, go drop off your hat. 
He's gonna go get changed. Yep, he gets changed into his normal outfit. And then I think, yeah, coming right over here. Gelia, Gelia is coming into the doctor. Very good. Right, Gelia needs to get changed. Oh, uh, now he's hungry, so he's gonna move to the kitchen. We need to just get this person sorted. Can you, do you mind? Do you mind just healing them? So we can see here that actually that one person is poisoned, but it's fine. It's only a mild poisoning. Now the hunger situation is more of a problem because it's minus 6% to their productivity and minus 2% because someone is starving. But I think we have enough food. We just need them to come over here. Yeah, okay. It looks like they're actually coming over and eating. So hopefully that lessens. Here's an Anbu sleeping spot. So when Anbu gets there, we can ask him to lie down. He might just choose to do it himself. He is quite tired. But let's just see. When we, it comes up saying that this place is safe, we'll try to get him to lie down. Yes, this place is unaffected by poison. Anbu is now walking. Oh, we also Anbu have activated his battles. His battles? His bowels. So we should be collecting some dung now too. I think he's going to lie down. Yep, here he is. He's going to lie down in this comfy spot, which is perfect. Good on boot. Well done. And yeah, they've collected 20 dung over here. So well done to poor Jen, who uh, gone to get some food, but they are. Oh, and we've got two food. So we do need to feed on boot again. Show the directions. Oh, we can't feed him now, though, because he's because <laughs> he's having a sleep. So actually close that up again. Never mind. And we can close up the horn blower because he's just going to have a snooze. And so those. Um, the kitchen can keep work. Oh, actually, we do have mushrooms. No, there are no more resources for that. So we're going to disable that one as well. We're not going to be able to grow any mushrooms. They've actually all gone bad. Looks like these could be harvested, though. So let's go back here and try to get someone to harvest those. And I think we might pop an extra worker in each of those. Who else do we have? No one. There's no more unemployed people. Got some hungry people, though, for sure. You're hungry, but you're walking the wrong way. What is your plan? You're moving to the stone. Okay, but you're hungry. All right, then. If you say so. Right, perfect spot for Anbu to sleep when he wakes up and he's walking again. Then we will open up the feeding trebuchet and feed him. And we could maybe feed him twice and get him basically down to nearly zero. It does remove 20%, but by the time he's woken up, this will be closer to like 44, 45, so... Get him close to 0% and that would be quite good. He'll be quite happy. And he might start healing. That's 78%. We'll have to keep an eye and see if he does start to heal. Because that is... I've never had Anbu get that hurt before. But he did lie down on burning hot sand and scorch his poor belly. So I feel like that's sort of on him, you know. All right. Our next research. Let's take a look at the tree. Because there's tons of things that we could be getting. Now, the decontaminator was recommended. Now, oh, I guess we've clicked on it. <laughs> the decontaminator fights the spread of toxic plants using biogas and we can make biogas at our composter. So I think that's a good idea. Now we have just unlocked corn. No, uh, wait. Plant and harvest. Corn. And corn is very, very happy in the desert. So if we open this back up, we might get some workers in here to grow us some corn and then we have at least a variety of food for our villagers, which would be very good. This berry bush up here is actually not in the radius of this building. So we could remove this one. And I was thinking possibly building another kitchen here so that it's very close to our two current places where we can get food. That could be a good idea, but we don't really have the workers right now to sustain that. In fact, I need to grab some workers to go do the corn thing anyways. I might grab you two. Both come over here. We've got, how many people working here? Oh, just one. Interesting, okay. Hmm. Just never feels like we have enough employees, does it? Oh, we've got tons of general workers. Maybe you come here and come work there. So we have two people getting cactus, which is good because we do need the water. Luckily, our scavenger hunt did find water. Oh, and you're fully healed. So we need to be sending you off again as well. We could go to another oasis. We could also go try to get some sand, but we don't really need sand at the moment, I don't think. So let's go 11 hours to this oasis. That's going to be pretty quick. And then we can go the time to go to this one as well. Anbu is waking up. Yep, he's not tired at all. I do want someone to come work here so that we can feed Anbu. You don't have enough resources to do that anymore, so if you can work here, that would be ideal. Come work over here and we're going to feed Anbu. 
we do have two created on boo foods. So come work over here as soon as you can. Whenever you uh whenever you feel like you want to do that, that would be great. Anbu is now walking, which means he can eat. Now we're gonna come across these nomads. They could be poisoned, so we have to be kind of ready for the doctor. But we do have a doctor out and about at the moment. The only thing I'm concerned about is we don't have very many herbs and we're not able to grow herbs now. He's just harvesting what was already there because they're not, oh, actually, that might be growing a little bit because, oh, we're not in the hot sand, actually, so it's a little bit better now. We could actually open this up again, too. Oh, we need the workers. Where are we going to find you? So let's pull up. Take some out of here, maybe. We could go back down to having just the one in the kitchen again. Right. Show interactions. Feed our onbu. There we go. We're going to trebuchet that right into his mouth. Look, he's ready. And he's such a good catch. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, so, oh dear. Okay, if we go that way, we are going to have the problem of that storm. But I'm wondering what's up this way. Oh, a heat wave. A heat wave is okay. Heat wave just affects our crops. It doesn't hurt Anbu. Oh, we have made an Anbu antitoxin, which is quite good. We haven't built the doctor yet, though. We still need quite a lot of resources there. But they're still going to be working on this first, the compost heap, and these houses, I think. So actually, do we have... Are there people who have no home? Oh no, total housing is 30, total people is 27, so we should be good for that. Although when we go to collect these people, then we might have a problem. All right, let's feed on boo number two. That's going to get his health, or his hunger, down to 2%. Which hopefully is enough that he starts healing, I'm not sure. There he is. Go ahead on boo, have a little snack. Bless him, he's so sweet. We love our on boo. When he's being a good boy. We're about to collect these nomads, which is excellent, but we do need these houses then. Oh, we did make that one, which is good. And they can fit six people, which is also very nice. And they're almost doing that one. Let's prioritize that for a second. Scavenging party has come back with 33 water. Excellent. And nobody is poisoned here, so we'll let's send them right back out. This is only 13 hours away now. It was 18, but then we've gotten a bit closer, haven't we? So 13 hours there. <gasps> That's going to be going into a forest on that side. So we can go in the mountains, which is very cold. And there's no poison in the air, though. There's just poison on the ground. Or we could head into the green, which I believe is the forest. And that has air toxicity as well, I think. So probably not as ideal. But this way, we'd have to deal with a thunderstorm, which could damage some of our less strong buildings. Which is not the end of the world, to be fair. We can rebuild them. It just takes a bit of resources to reconstruct them. And less resources than they initially took. And it would only probably damage our like weakest buildings because it's just yeah it's just a thunderstorm it's not a strong thunderstorm or anything like that but it does have quite a big range here uh, yeah which direction do we want to go Ooh, we even countered a small group of nomads looking for a new home of course we will pick them up of course of course of course three healthy people perfect and we actually do have the homes for them now our population has leveled up which means our our citizens, our villagers' needs, have increased. So if we look up here, they need housing quality. So they're not happy currently with these tents. We need to be upgrading them all to a hut at least. We also need to worry about the decoration still, which we're not very good at here, but we might need to, hmm, maybe we need to find a new spot for housing and then really plan out the housing plus the decorations. Like this could work having this here because we can have more decorations along this side have decorations along the middle the only thing is these houses on this side might not be decorated enough tricky to say but i might put let's try building a couple huts here and then we'll put a couple decorations along the middle and the outside it's like a nice little street let's do every other one as a yellow flower bed because i like the yellow flower bed and then every other one as a big bush i mean it looks a bit pretty right if we decorate it nicely it could be okay and then on the other side, maybe we do every other one as the blue flower beds. And then every other one as a pointy bush. No, big bush. The same big bush. I think that's okay. So it's a nice little strip there. And then these houses will be super decorated. And that should, what? That's six times four. So 24 people can live there. And then we can start to get rid of some of these tents. People will be much happier. But that is, I mean, that's a lot of building 
materials. We do kind of need to keep an eye on what we actually have to build with. Ooh, this is very close. The compost heap only needs uh, two more planks. Anbu is unsure about which path to take. I think, oh, there's a sleeping spot, but we don't need a sleeping spot. I am a bit nervous about going in here because we could have poisoned air, whereas this is poisoned ground. Anbu's not tired, so poison ground is maybe not as bad. So... Oh, we don't have anyone working as a horn blower. Ah, quick. Get someone working here. Who can we take? You. We don't even need you right now. Okay, good. Show interaction. No, back up. I think we want to go south. I'm a bit nervous about going into... Let's see. Oh, we accept our command. Okay, we're going to go to the mountains again. Which means our corn is not going to be growing. And actually, our beets would probably grow a lot better in the forest. But... I think there's air toxicity there, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm nervous about air toxicity. So we're going to avoid it if we can. It's nice that we can tell Anbu where to go now, and he actually does listen. Anbu's accepted that command, so we actually don't need to keep anyone in here now. So let's close that up again. So we don't have any mushrooms, do we? We've got three. Oh, yeah. Oh, one person can work here. But it says only harvest. We need plant and harvest. What do we have? We've got five unemployed villagers so let's maybe put a second person in there oh that's only harvest plant and harvest and we'll put a second person in there oh we need a lot more water maybe put a third person in here back to having another one in there and that leaves us with still three that doesn't seem right i think they need to work their way to their new place brought back 35 water that's really good they're not poisoned so we can send them straight back off again let's go here it's only nine hours that'll be a very quick trip and we will be moving away from it, so a cook tip is good. Oh no, it's scorching sand again. Ah, I mean, that probably, a short heat wave probably would have been better than the scorching sand again. Because Anbu hasn't healed at all, so we may need to prioritize them building the Anbu doctor. Because we can send the workers to cure Anbu of poison or heal it, so he might not heal at all by himself, which is a bit concerning. Now, they are getting some decorations around here. I suppose what we could do, if we wanted to build houses along this way still, we could put decorations in between. Like if we put some like a flower pot there and like a little blue flower pot there and then build another house here, that could be quite good. That. Then those, I feel like those should be basically as fully decorated as possible, which is good. It's very good. Now you're hungry, but you're gonna get that stone first, are you? Okay. We're happy with that. Yep. I might cancel this house. They leave the resources there, but that's okay, because they can go grab it. Because we're going to be building these ones, I think that's better. We've, we've planned these out better, rather than just shoving them wherever we can shove them. Now, these decorations don't really matter. They're not actually benefiting anybody. I mean, maybe we could do kind of something like this, but across this side of the road, and then these would be benefiting that side of the road. But we'll have to see. It's not too big of a concern. As long as all of our people have a place to live. Total housing is 36, total people is 30. So we're still very good on that one. Right, he's coming up to the scorching sand. Now, we could just let him walk. That way he doesn't get too tired, because if he gets too tired, he's gonna lay down in here, and that it does have poisoned ground in here. So, we could sacrifice a bit of health, knowing that we're gonna be building this and can heal him hopefully soon. Ah, open our research tree. We are done researching whatever it was we were just working on. We've got nine knowledge points, so we could look at getting some of these other things, like our cottage which is like a much nicer house. However, we don't have the glass or the iron ore for that. So we might need to go to, re oh, the seawater collector, I think is what we want. Because when we do get to an ocean, eventually we're gonna want this and then we can get a fishery and catch some fish for our people. They, I think they'd be very happy if they could have some fish. Now the quarry and sawmill would also be a fairly good idea. You use the quarry and sawmill to get rid of these big rocks. So these ones, the boulders, you're safe to harvest those ones. It's the onboo spikes that you're not. Do we have any big wood? Oh, we got a big wood down here. Oh, here. Giant trunks. So you use the sawmill for that. You can harvest like 300 resource out of them. It's quite a lot. Right. Scavenger party is back. We still haven't selected our research though, so they're currently doing nothing. We are going this way. Let's go get more water. It's going to be very helpful. So, oh, or should we go to the mine? Uh, no, let's get the water. Okay, we're at the burning sand, but we're going to let Anbu just walk past it, I think. We, oh, we do need to select 
I need to build a decontaminator. That should be fairly central. I might put it here. I think that's, that's, yeah, that's quite central on the back. So that's good. Put that there. We need to select a tech. What do I want to go for though? Oh, I think we wanted to go for the seawater collector. We don't need it right now, but we're going to need it soon. I don't think we need... Oh, petting on... Oh. No, we're going to go for petting on Boo. It's going to help increase his trust, so he's more likely to listen to our commands. So let's learn how to pet on Boo. That will be very good. Yeah, and hopefully we can heal him up soon. So he is going through the sand. He's probably going to hit the tornado because... Or the thunderstorm because... I don't know. You just always have that kind of luck. But unfortunately, we won't find out today because we are out of video time. Today's going to be a longer one than normal, I think. Oh, dear. Well, anyways, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more of the adventures of Anbu in the Wandering Village. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.